Welcome to Rana, Rising Above Narcissistic Abuse. This is a safe space for survivors of narcissistic abuse, where we share stories of strength, recovery, and transformation. Here, you'll find empowering videos, insightful advice, and a supportive community dedicated to helping you overcome the aftermath of narcissistic relationships. In our previous videos, we've explored topics related to narcissism, empathy, narcissistic abuse recovery, and finding your inner strength. Today, we're delving into a sensitive and challenging subject coping with narcissistic personality disorder in a loved one. Dealing with a loved one who has narcissistic personality disorder can be a complex and emotionally draining experience. In this video, we will address the challenges of navigating relationships with individuals who have NPD, provide an overview of the disorder itself, share coping strategies for maintaining boundaries, discuss the importance of seeking support networks, and emphasize the crucial role of self-care while supporting a loved one with NPD. If you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to stay updated with our empowering content. Let's get started. Understanding NPD. To cope with NPD in a loved one, it's essential to first understand the disorder itself. What is Narcissistic Personality Disorder? Narcissistic Personality Disorder is a mental health condition characterized by a pervasive pattern of grandiosity, a need for admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. Individuals with NPD often have an inflated sense of self-importance and believe they are entitled to special treatment. They may exploit and manipulate others to achieve their own goals, and their relationships are often marked by difficulties in empathy and emotional reciprocity. NPD and relationships. In relationships, NPD can manifest in various ways. Loved ones with NPD may be emotionally distant, lack empathy, and have difficulty recognizing the needs and feelings of others. They may expect constant admiration and struggle to provide emotional support or validation. Coping with these behaviors can be challenging, but it's important to remember that individuals with NPD are also struggling with a complex disorder. Coping strategies. Coping with a loved one who has NPD requires patience, understanding, and effective strategies to maintain your own well-being. Here are some coping strategies to consider. Set and maintain boundaries. Setting clear and firm boundaries is essential when dealing with a loved one with NPD. Communicate your limits and what behavior is acceptable or unacceptable. Consistently enforcing these boundaries can protect your emotional well-being and maintain a sense of control. Practice emotional detachment. Emotional detachment can help you protect your own emotions and avoid getting entangled in the emotional roller coaster that often comes with NPD. Learn to recognize when the behavior is driven by the disorder rather than a personal attack. This awareness can help you maintain emotional distance and stability. Manage expectations. It's crucial to manage your expectations when interacting with a loved one who has NPD. Understand that their capacity for empathy and emotional reciprocity may be limited. Adjusting your expectations can help you avoid disappointment and frustration. Seek professional help. Consider seeking support from a therapist or counselor. A mental health professional can provide guidance on coping strategies, offer a safe space to process your feelings, and help you develop effective communication skills. Seeking support. Coping with NPD in a loved one can be isolating, but you don't have to go through it alone. Seeking support networks is essential for your well-being. Share with trusted friends and family. Share your experiences with trusted friends and family members. They can offer emotional support, understanding, and a listening ear. Sharing your challenges can alleviate the sense of isolation that often comes with coping with NPD. Join support groups. Consider joining support groups for individuals dealing with loved ones who have NPD. These groups provide a safe space to connect with others facing similar challenges, share coping strategies, and access valuable resources. Collaborate with a therapist or counselor. Collaborating with a therapist or counselor, either individually or as a couple, can be highly beneficial. A mental health professional can offer self-care. While supporting a loved one with NPD, it's essential to prioritize self-care to safeguard your own well-being. Here's why self-care matters. Protecting your mental health. Nurturing your mental health is crucial when dealing with the challenges of NPD. Self-care activities, such as mindfulness, meditation, and journaling, can help you manage stress and emotional strain. Maintaining healthy boundaries. Self-care is intertwined with setting and maintaining healthy boundaries. It's a way to protect your emotional and psychological well-being and maintain a sense of control over your own life. Reducing emotional fatigue. Caring for a loved one with NPD can be emotionally exhausting. 
Engaging in self-care activities helps reduce emotional fatigue and prevent burnout, allowing you to continue providing support. Seeking professional guidance. If coping with a loved one with NPD becomes too overwhelming, consider seeking professional guidance. A therapist or counselor can help you navigate the challenges and provide tools for self-care. Conclusion. Coping with narcissistic personality disorder in a loved one is a challenging and often emotionally draining experience. It's important to understand the disorder, employ effective coping strategies, seek support networks, and prioritize self-care to protect your own well-being. Thank you for joining us in this discussion on coping with NPD and loved ones. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more empowering content. Stay strong, take care of yourself, and we'll see you in our next video. In the coming days, we'll dive into topics like toxic relationships, healing from gaslighting, and your life after a narcissist. Join the conversation by following us on social media and sharing your experiences. We're here to support you every step of the way. Remember, you are not alone. Together, we are rising above narcissistic abuse.